Welcome to Mile Marker, a Mississippi Roads podcast. I'm Walt Grayson. In this episode, we head to Iuka at Mile Marker 108 for the state's last drive-in theater. We talk to managers Katie Adams and Leslie Curtis and moviegoers Shelby Jacobs and Jessica Smith. We are Iuka Drive-In Theater. It's just a family-run business, but it is something that is a dying um, venue, I guess you could call it, because we're the last operating drive-in in the state of Mississippi. We're right here on the corner of Alabama, Tennessee, and Mississippi. I mean, you can drive 10 miles either way and you're in another state. Which, if people knew we were open, is a really good draw. We're open six to seven uh, months out of the year, six to seven months, and sometimes less than that. Sometimes maybe a little more. Depends on if we get a good movie. We try to get one movie that's really family friendly. Now, I have to admit, sometimes we don't get movies that are family friendly, but you always want to get something the kids can watch too. That's what we do better with with, uh, with the family movies, you know. And uh, you get them rated R, nasty talking, you know. It's, they don't do a lot here. Some people like them, but I don't see it helps the movie any. Cartoons are a really big draw. Anything for kids. There's so much out there that can be shown, but we're not able to get a lot of them. Theater business is dying down a lot because they have ruined it. With this digital where you can watch the movie as soon as it comes out, um, three months till a video, I think it's ruining a lot of the box office draw. Yeah, I think it's, it's been kind of bad this year. Uh, last year was pretty good, but this year has dropped off bad. And people tell me that they can watch these new movies on the computer. Watch it on the phone. We're going to hang in here as long as we can. We ought to be doing better than what, we, what we're doing. We have had uh, good times, bad times, you know. And it's something that you really have to fight to keep open. And it's kind of hard to advertise these days for a drive-in theater. We have tried radio and we have tried newspapers and stuff like that. But I guess people don't understand the aspect of what a drive-in is anymore. We go to a theater convention every year and these people work with projectors and stuff. But I mentioned that to one of the people. I said, I work at a drive-in. They're like, what's that? I think they were from Europe, maybe? So it's a drive-in theater. Which, you know, a lot of people don't know about them anymore. The first time Mama told me uh, about the drive-in, I was, like, super surprised. It was freaked me out that you could come and drive your car and park and watch the movie outside. And it's really fun. Mama says it's great quality time, family quality time. I like coming to the drive-in movie theater. It's just something you gotta enjoy doing. I mean, to come for six months out of the year every weekend and do this, it's a lot of fun to me. I might be a workaholic, I don't know. It's not really something you're gonna make a whole lot of money at. It's something you do to enjoy, at least around here. Maybe if we lived in a, it was in a bigger city, this would be a big draw. And it still is for people with children. The price is, is pretty good for two movies and some popcorn, and uh, it's good for our two-year-old, who's can be kind of hard to contain, <laughs> you know, in a movie theater setting. So this is, seemed like a good option. It's just more relaxed, you know. It, it, you don't have to be very quiet. It's good to bring kids to, you know, so you're not disrupting other people. I mean, it's, it, I think there's a little bit more of an allowance for a little bit of noise. I'd rather go to this than go to movie theater. We're not as strict as some places. You have a little bit more leniency. When the movie starts, your children need to sit out and watch the movie. Otherwise, they got a yard they can play in. And where they can be a little loud for a while and they can be a little rambunctious, you know. People bring frisbees, soccer balls, footballs. But it's just a family play. Family comes to watch the movies, family runs it. It's a dying business that can be revived if people would see it as 
family entertainment and fun. We hope you enjoyed our visit to the Iuka Drive-In Theater. And a special thanks to our guests. Find full broadcast episodes of Mississippi Roads on YouTube TV, the MPB Public Media app, and at mpbonline.org. Final Showing was produced by Art McAlpin. Mile Marker and Mississippi Roads is executive produced by Katie Savage and a product of Mississippi Public Broadcasting.